What is up guys? Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna to be going to Home Depot. We're gonna go look for a six millimeter hex socket, something like that, I believe that's what it's called. I need that because we're gonna change the oil on the ATV today. It's gonna to be my first time attempting to do it. Excuse the fade on my head. I really need a fade. It's been like almost a month, bro. It's been a little bit over a month. This quarantine has been has not been treating me good, you know. So yeah, excuse that. Um, so we're gonna go out to the Home Depot real quick. We're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully we can find it. If not, I'm gonna head out to O'Reilly's or AutoZone. And uh, we're gonna get that oil change started. First time attempt, see if I can do it. Hopefully everything goes well. So see you guys in a bit. When All right guys, so we're back. All right guys, so we're back from Home Depot. I got the socket. Uh, this should be the one to take out the drain plug out the oil. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. <clears throat> All right guys, so here's uh, everything that I'm gonna use. Obviously my filter for uh, my my ATV Polar Polaris Sportman 450. I guess this is a part number. I mean, the guy in the video is using the same one, same year. So uh, that's part number of the filter, oil filter. And uh, here's the here's the oil, two quarts of oil. And then this is the tool. Though I guess this is the, this is basically the only tool I'm gonna need. And obviously my drain, my oil drain thingy. I don't know what you call that. Maybe some gloves, just because it's really muddy down there. I really don't want to get my hands muddy. And a rag to see. Hopefully, hopefully we can remove the oil filter by hand. But I've seen people say that you need a special tool like to remove it. In the video that I saw, the guy did use a... He said that he did it, that he had done it once by hand. I mean, the second time he did it, that he couldn't do it by hand. It was too tight. So he had to use his pliers, special pliers for the filter. But let's go ahead and see where the... Here it is. The drain plug is right here. Somewhere right there, but like I said, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get to it. Let's try. So I just took out a lot of the mud that was here. The plug is right there, as you guys can see right there. It should fit right on spot. Yep. Just a little bit tight, so. That's what she did. Now here's the part that I know is going to make me struggle a lot. Damn, this bitch is tight. You guys can see now, we're going to let that drain. gonna let it drain for now real quick then we're gonna start trying to get the filter out now all right so I, all right so uh, I guess I should have washed off all this mud before but the oil filter is right there it's on the left side basically let's hope it's not hard to come off so I'm try to dig my hand in there and take it off real quick <clears throat> all right guys so I got the oil filter out let me go flash the light real quick I got the oil filter out. I don't know if you guys can see. But it's out there, old ones over there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the new one. Alright, so I just drained the new oil, put new oil in there. Took that out, cleaned it out, made sure I didn't get no dirt going inside the engine. But that's that for that. And I'm gonna give it a little quick start to see how it does. It should it should turn on good and it shouldn't be a problem. Now uh, I'm guessing to reset my service hour. Uh, I saw on YouTube someone said you just gotta hold the mode button. So let's see if it resets. Oh man, fuck. Let's 
see if it worked now bingo there you go now i got now i got it now i got to reset to 25 hours so next time now i know how to do my oil change again yeah that should be it guys hope you guys have a wonderful day i'm going i'm gonna go ahead and pick up all this mess you know that i made as you guys can probably see i i struggled a little bit with the filter <laughs> I didn't have the proper tools obviously to remove the filter so what i did was i stick the screwdriver through it and then just forced it not forced it but i just turned it the way that it comes out what is it uh clockwise or counterclockwise i forgot which one is it but i just turned it to the right way that to loosen it up and after that that was it i was able to take it by hand so yeah it's not the best recommended way to probably do it but this is like my last to go resort I didn't want to leave it like that without having a filter or with the filter being cut up. So just went ahead and did that and shit, it works now. It worked. Looks like it's not leaking anything. That's from earlier, but it looks like it's not leaking anything anymore. So that should be it guys, filters in. So like I said guys, I'll let you guys go. See you guys in the next one. Deuce.